Yeah. We're speaking with Sheikh Mohammed Al Thani of Muhajil Group. Um, Ms. Sheikh Mohammed, we would like to ask you about the current conditions of the oil market and how you find companies adapting to a price level of around $50. I think the market, we can say, is oversupplied. However, every supply today has a home to go to and uh, we are not worried about this situation, of course. We think the market is balanced around these prices and we think uh, this clut, more or less, is not going to be absorbed in the next three to five years, but we will see prices hovering around these levels, depending on the geopolitical situation, wherever it is in the world. Can you speak to us a little bit about the LNG market and uh, at, at current price levels? How is the LNG market? Uh, you know, everybody's speaking about an oversupplied market. However, we see prices reaching nine, almost nine dollars per MMBTU, especially in the premium market of Japan. This is due to the fact that there is excess LNG, but it's been absorbed by buyers, especially in China and other places, maybe to prepare for the winter. So we cannot see this oversupply being a problem so far. And are you of the view that gas will replace uh, oil as a clean uh, fuel supply in the future? Uh, we cannot say it this way. Gas will be the, t the fuel of choice for emission uh, reduction. And therefore, oil will play a role and continue to play a role. But oil will reach its peak at one time, hopefully in the long run. But we, I'm thinking personally between 25, year 25, 2025 and 30, where oil will start to reach its peak and start the decline. And the replacement is, of course, gas. And that's why I believe in the future of gas as being the brightest among the fossil fuels. Last question has to be about the upcoming OPEC meeting. To what extent do you believe that the OPEC non-OPEC agreement managed to rebalance the market? I think it did to some extent. It has given the market some stability. And uh, I think the stakeholders, whether OPEC or non-OPEC, are going to continue to keep it. Because without it, the market could go uh, you know, on the negative side. And that's why everybody, it's in everybody's benefit to keep it that way. Perfect. Thank you for your time. Thank you.